Palna means we did. First person plural, we and the past tense. So, Palna means we did. Okay. So, if we apply this grammar to this one, this will become Af, Wow, Lam, and Na. And if we keep the same ara, it will be sounding like kavalna. Okay? We just simply substitute these three letters here <coughs> in this grammar. So by the same harakas, it will sound kavalna. Okay? So this means we and the past <coughs> tense is said. We said. Pavalna means we said. Now, this middle letter, wow, is a weak letter. And it has a fata on it. Okay? And fata and wow don't go together. So what happens is that this whole letter which is in the middle, wow, it drops out. But before it drops, it transfers its sound backward. The sound of wow is the sound of dhumma. Okay? As we know that the dhumma is the sound of wow and ya is the sound of kasra and alif is the sound of fata. Okay? So this letter wow which is mismatched here, a weak letter and it has Fata on it because Fata cannot be on wow. So this whole letter drops out, but its sound of Dhamma goes backward on the Qaf. So this will this becomes Ol Na. Ol Na means we said. Okay, and that is what the word is in the Quran. Olna, we said. Here, we is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa idh qulna, and when we said. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning here in the Quran that in the past there was a time when we said something. Okay? So the next word is Lil Malaikati. Okay, so let's look at this word. The word starts with these three letters Meme, Lam, and Ka. Okay. The word that it has many meanings, but the word that we need is Malakun. Mala, kun means angel. Mala kun means angel, which is generated by these three letters, mim, lam, ka. Okay. Angel. Okay. Its plural is malaikatun, which means the angels. And Malaikatun is written like that. Meem, Lam, and Hamza, and Kaf, and Tun. Malaikatun is the plural of Malakun. Mim and Lam has an alif, but it has a mud on it because there is a Hamza after that, and Hamza puts the mud on it. <coughs> so, Malaika Tun means angels, it's plural. Malaika Tun means angels. Now, if we put <coughs> Al before that, 
अल मीन्स द सो इट बिकम द एंजल्स बट अल डज वन थिंग इट टेक्स आउट वन दो सो इट विल बिकम अल मला इक टू so it will become the word is al malaikatu the angels okay now there is lam before this has a kasra means two okay lam with a kasra means two or four and lam is a harf jar and harf jar has some effect it looks at the last letter here and changes it changes into a kasra so this dumma will become a kasra here. so now if you were read this word together it is lil combine this lam with this lam it become lil malaikati to the angels Okay, that's what the word is in the Quran. To the angels. Okay. Lil mala ikati. To the angels. Okay. And alif is not written, so this is exactly it is in the Quran here in the ayah. Lil mala ikati. To the angels. وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ and when we said to the angels, okay. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is addressing the angel in the past and mentioning in the Quran that there was a time in the past when we said to the angels, okay. What did we say to the angels? The next word, okay. The word starts with these three letters: Sin, Jim, and Dal. Okay. This makes this means to make sajda or to prostrate. Okay. To make sajda, Sin. Jim and Dal. Okay. If we put an alif before that with a dhamma and sound like that, usu judu, usu judu, usu judu is a command, order. To one person, if you says to someone, "Us jod," it means make sajda. Okay, this is an order, a command. That's how command is made. That by putting an alif in the beginning and sounding like that. Okay, and this is in the table that I gave you, amr or command. Us jod. Us jod means it's a command. And it means make sajda. It's for one person. You are telling one person, make sajda, go and perform sajda, or prostrate. You say us jud. Okay. Its plural is us judu. If you are talking to many people, then you will just put a wow at the end, and it becomes plural. Us judu. Us judu is the plural. <coughs> many people. So this is make sajda. And 
this is for plural P. Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to the angels, Usjudu. If we are reading separately, you will read Wa id kulna lil malaikati. And when we say to the angels, if you stop there, you will say the next word, Usujudu, <coughs> make sajda. Okay? When you read together, you skip this alif in between and combine, so it will be lil malaikati sujudu. And alif is not recited. So originally alif had this dhumma on it. Because we are not reading, we change this to a small swad, which is called Hamzatul Vasal. <coughs> which means do not recite the sound of Alif. Combine Lil Mala Ekati to the seal. So it will be Tis Judu. Okay? Make Sajida. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <laughs> instructed the angels. By saying, make sajda. Or bow down. Okay? <coughs> or prostrate. Okay? So, um, is there a rule of making Hamza as a um, Hamza to Wasat? So, it looks like until unless that Hamza is a part of the word itself, like a Anta or you know, it stays there. Other than that, whenever you're attaching, it always becomes Hamzatul Wasal. When there are, the Wasal means separation. Okay? So when there are two words which are separated, okay, and you want to join those two words, then the letter which is making them separate drops out, right. which is Alif in this right. case. So I guess my But like in, in the case of Anta, it won't I, because there's a part of the yeah. word, right? So what I guess what I'm um, getting. Now this is also remember that it, it is mostly done in in uh, um, verb fail also. <coughs> mostly in in the fail. Okay. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, oh, Alice is there. It become Hamzatul Wasal there also. Okay, but like Jannata. Um, like next ayah where there is Al Alif. Yes, Alif is in the beginning. It's now. Yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah. that's where it became Hamzatul Wasal. Yes. Also. Yeah. So the word is Al Jannatu. Yeah, but it became. Uh, yeah. So Us Judu becomes Tis Judu here. Okay. And if you want to read slowly to explain it, to explain to someone, then you can read Us Judu. Okay. Make sajda. Okay. Now this is a command. Okay. Make sajda. So it has both. You make. You're telling someone. Make sajda. <coughs> so a group is in front of you, or some people are in front of you, or the actual. If I write down the full word, this is actually. You make sajda. Because command is given to the person who is listening this thing, who is in the front of you. You're ordering someone. You don't order a person who is not there. You order the person who can listen to you. Okay? So, us judu or a command is always issued to the person who is who can listen to you. Okay? So, it is always the second person. You make sajda. Okay? If you are if you are telling someone who is not here, then you are not really ordering him. You are, you are, he makes sajda, but that's not the order. Okay, so the order is always given to the person who is in front of you, or you can reach that person, which is you. Okay, so now notice that you is a file, and make is a fail. Okay. And who are you ordering here? The word is Adam. No? You are ordering the... Um, the object is Adam. The object is Adam. Okay, which means someone 
to whom they are going to make sajda. Okay? So the word, okay, so, so we'll come to that. But let's look at the next word.